It's day three of activity at Kilauea. So is there a trend that officials are noticing? And what's the big concern now? Joining us with more is Drew Downs, a geologist at the Hawaiian Volcano Observatory. Good morning, Drew. Thanks for joining us. Good morning. Thank you for having me. So the last report yesterday showed multiple minor fountains with one open vent and a change to the warning level, the color code. Can you talk about the change in the current activity? Uh, yes. So the activity today, this morning, is pretty much the same as yesterday. There's still several fountains within uh, the caldera floor in the National Park, Hawaii Volcanoes National Park, and they're still fountaining from around 10 to 30 feet high. Um, the warning level was decreased from, um, we have two warning levels actually, one for the ground, one for aviation. So the aviation color code uh, was decreased from red to orange because the volcano is really not throwing up anything very high into the air. So there's really no aircraft, helicopter or airplane that's at any risk um, from the volcano. That's why it was decreased. The ground level was similarly decreased from warning to watch because it's staying confined in the caldera at the summit in the national park. So there's really no infrastructure or um, any place that visitors can get where it's going to be a hazardous situation from them. The, this is kind of the fourth eruption at the summit of Hale Ma'u Ma'u on Kilauea and, since 2020. And it's kind of set into a routine where it, you know, at the beginning of these, it's got high fountains, it fills the lake, and then it settles down to a few um, lava fountains that continue to go for weeks to months um, in the past. So uh, based on the past couple eruptions and the way this one has started, it looks like it's doing that cycle again. And as of right now, we have no indication that any lava is at risk of leaving the caldera and impacting structures or anyone you know, outside of the national park away from the rim. So would you say the biggest concern continues to be the VOG? Yes, um, the gas coming off of the crater lake that's blowing down wind is the greatest concern right now. It tends to get pretty diffuse pretty quickly downwind. Of course, uh, sulfur doesn't smell good. Um, so people that have you know respiratory issues, that can become an issue. But uh, that's, that's really the only concern from the volcano at the moment is the VOG that blows downwind. I know it's hard to predict Mother Nature and Pele, but looking into the weekend, do you believe that the color code and the warning level will remain as it is? I do, uh, yes. It's kind of set into its routine and, you know, volcanoes are unpredictable. Things can change rapidly, so people should be prepared. But, you know, we've we've been through several of these in the past couple of years, and I expect that the eruption will stay in the crater and that the color code will stay orange and the warning level will stay at watch. I imagine it's going to be a, a busy weekend um, as as people continue to visit the area. What's your message to visitors as well as residents of Hawaii Island? Um, my main mes message would be, uh, you know, be prepared for anything, but it's a beautiful weekend. And if you get the chance, I would highly recommend uh, getting out and seeing it especially around sunset or sunrise. Uh, the park's really busy, so please, you know, just be patient with the park staff and trying to get in and get a fantastic look at the volcano. It's It's been really spectacular the last couple nights. It has been. Be safe, be responsible, and just enjoy, right? Very much so, yes. All right. Drew Downs, thanks for joining us again this morning with that update.